Alright guys, welcome back to the second level of Super Godzilla on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Last time we beheaded the three-headed dragon, King Ghidorah, found out aliens are trying to invade the Earth, and it's up to us to stop them. Alright, while I'm doing the boring part here, walking around trying to find the boss, I'll take this time to talk about some of the topics about the second Godzilla 2014 trailer. And, uh, some of the topics that have been flying around the Facebook page of, uh, Entertainment Talk Nation is, uh, things like his skin color, the flying muto, and oddly enough, people think they see the twin fairies in one of the buildings in the Las Vegas scene. Well, on the skin thing, I mean, for me personally, I don't have a problem with the way his skin looks. I think it looks cool, more realistic than a rubber suit, and some people have brought the point that it kind of resembles an alligator, which I can see. I've read that uh, his back is where his spines are, all that looks like hard, scaly armor, and then his stomach and down looks like a soft underbelly which matches an alligator's description perfectly and then it's also like they built his head like a bear's head I mean you can see it clear as day and I actually like that and it, it fits it well I guess I don't know I don't really know how to describe the why I like it but yeah, it just it looks good in my opinion and then we have Fly Muto which I agree with like half of the world when they say that it looks like Rodan I mean, the way he folds his wings back and he dives in the water, you can go watch uh, the Rodan movies, or the Rodan movie, where there's two of them and they dive in the water just like that. It's legit. And if it is Rodan, the way the jets fall out of the sky, I mean, they're not on fire or anything, so they weren't, they didn't run into Godzilla, they weren't swatted out there. But imagine Rodan flying supersonic speed past them, they lose their control and then they just go down. That makes perfect sense to me. But, we don't know what was said, we only, we were told that the only monster that would be in this, from Toho, is Godzilla himself. But then again, like Rob, from Entertainment Talk Nation has said, we weren't there when they signed the contracts and whatnot, so we don't know for ourselves what's what. And, uh, finish this up with the Twin Fairy thing. Guys who think it is the Twin Fairies, I mean seriously, stop to think for a minute. The Twin Fairies are like Barbie dolls compared to normal people. And what you're seeing are two fairly normal sized people on the side of that wrecked building. If they were the Twin Fairies, they'd be much smaller, and we probably wouldn't be able to see them. I mean, yeah, it's pretty obviously why it's it's pretty obvious why it's not the Twin Fairies. I mean, I don't want to be a, a dick and like, oh, you're wrong and stupid, your opinion is false. Because I'm not that kind of person, but... It's just really plainly obvious that it's not them. It's probably some soldiers or firefighters or just normal civilians. I mean, it's probably not the Twin Fairies, but it could be a, a uh, homage to Twin Fairies. It could be two twin girls. I mean, they kind of do look like they're wearing the same thing, but it's definitely not going to be the Twin Fairies. And uh, yeah, here we are at our first mini boss. so let's get this down.
Alright, redeem our loss with a win. With no way to spam the shit out of him with those short range attacks. But uh, yeah, that's the end for the second level. The third uh, level awaits. I'll upload that some uh, sometime when I'm free. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you like me to talk more about the trailer and the upcoming movie throughout the rest of my videos, let me know and I'll, I'll, drop, I'll drop a comment here and there. Alright, thanks guys.